Hey there YouTube, welcome to another Tech Me Out video. Thank you so much for being here. And again, if you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe and hit the bell icon so you will be notified when new videos come out. And a lot of new videos are about to be uh, coming out, especially regarding uh, Synology's DSM-7. There is a lot of new features, a lot of new capabilities. And in today's video, we are going to talk about something that unlike almost anything else in DSM-7 is not an improvement of anything we had on DSM version 6. This is a brand new feature, DSM-7 only, and it's called Hybrid Share. And that means that for the first time, Synology is combining the C2 cloud storage into our on-premise NAS devices. Now, there are a lot of questions about this uh, new feature. It's still in beta. We still don't know how much will it cost. We still don't know if, we'll, if it will uh, use your uh, paid C2 storage or will they give you a different quota of cloud storage. We still don't know. But this new capability brings a lot of benefit from what I can see a lot of use cases I will need to uh, point your attention that this is still a beta and you need if you if you want to uh, 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 take advantage of this new feature you will need to register to join the beta once you uh, uh, submit your form Synology will take a few days to review your submission and you will be approved or maybe declined I was lucky enough to be approved uh, so I will be able to show you how it's done. It's very simple. It's like creating a regular share, nothing to it. So without further ado, let's go over to the computer and start uh, exploring this exciting new feature. Join me. Hey there, thanks for joining me. So, as I said, today we are talking about Synology's new hybrid share feature, which is not an improvement of anything we saw on DSM-6. It's a completely new DSM-7 only feature, which brings in a lot of capabilities, mostly for business users. But I can think of a few home, home office use cases where a hybrid share can bring a lot of benefit. So the first thing you will need to do in order to be able to create hybrid shares on your Synology device is you will need to join the hybrid share beta. So let me give you a pointer on how to do that. All you will need to do, although we are not going to dive into the registration process right now, all you will need to do is search for Synology C2, go into your first search option, Go to the hybrid share tab. Now, I, as I understand, currently Synology has stopped taking a, a, a participation requests for this beta, but they will be a, a resuming the, the registration at some point. I don't know when. So if you're interested, stay tuned. A, 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 make, a, maybe, I don't know, every once uh, in a few days, come back to the Synology C C2 portal and see maybe the registration is, uh, is opened again. I was lucky enough to, uh, to participate and regis register uh, in the first wave of registration. Uh, at some point in the bottom of the page there will be a registration. Uh, here, as I said, they, I suppose they have a resumed, re resumed registration. So if you're interested, make a, a, make a uh, an application right now and reserve your spot. So after you will uh, register for the uh, uh, hybrid share beta program, they will take a few days to review your application. And if you're approved, if you if you sign into your C2 account, let me log in into mine. You will see a new tab showing up. You see the hybrid backup, that's the cloud storage you pay for in order, in order to back up your NAS to the cloud. And you see another tab here, hybrid share beta, 
and as you can see you're, all, you're automatically given one terabyte although from what I understand from the beta uh, uh, terms uh, if you don't do not sign up for a paid account after the beta uh, uh, pro, uh, beta phase is finished you will be taken uh, uh, all the all the uh, one terabytes uh, you are now given for free all right so as you can see the quota for the hybrid for the hyper backup is not shared with the hybrid share they will give they give you a whole new a quota of cloud storage which is very nice very generous of them so this is how it looks like in the Synology C2 side I do not want to spend too much time on the Synology C2 I want to dive in and start creating the hybrid share on our Synology NAS so I have my NAS opened right here and the way you create a hybrid share shared folder is almost exactly like creating a regular shared folder you go into control panel shared folder and under create you will see mount a hybrid share folder by the way if you if i haven't uh, make, made it made it clear you can create a hybrid share on synology c2 and mount several nest devices on several different locations to the same share and uh, uh, maybe configure different amounts of on-prem caching because every site I don't know works on different set of data that's that's amazing stuff all right let's go into mount hybrid share click on start of course they will need you to sign into your Synology C2 account I will sign in to mine agree click on yes you will need to create an encryption key let's go ahead now whatever you do do not lose the encryption key because if you lose it not even Synology can recover your data if you need to access it if something went wrong so be sure to hold on to it let's call it hybrid and let's say I want to only cache 200 gigabytes all right so the minimum is 300 sorry so that means I have 300 gigabytes cached locally by the way that means that even in a case of an ISP issue where I do not have internet connection I will still have these 300 gigabytes cached and I can actively work on them they will sync up to the cloud when the ISP issue is resolved so let's click on next and click on done and as you can see this is the hybrid chair it has a little cloud cloud icon on it and now if I'll go back to my Synology C2 account back I will probably see this new uh, uh, share mentioned in the C2 account let's go ahead and refresh the page let's go back to the hybrid share tab and indeed I can see that uh, I have a, a, a NAS device that has attached itself to my hybrid share quota so that's great and now in my Synology NAS I can treat this new hybrid share as if it was a regular share for every intent and purpose I can even I don't know assign it permissions very regularly as I would with to my domain users to my domain groups everything is exactly the same and even if I even if I go to my file station I can log into my hybrid chair just fine and in fact let's copy some files into it I don't know let's go to my let's see what I have locally let's take this Plex server installation file and drag it sorry and drag it into my Synology device and you can see immediately the the hybrid share share folder has identified a new data and it automatically syncs it up to the cloud now at this point this feature is so new that I don't know how will uh, how will it be represented on the cloud side will I will we be able to browse 
this share from the cloud? I think not because it's a client side encryption. That's by the way, that means that the, the files leave our on-prem NAS devices already encrypted. That gives us better security because it's, it travels through the internet already encrypted. No one can tap into our data and see what's inside. So I believe we will not be able to browse our shares online, but I may be wrong. Right now, I think it's, it's a too early stage. So there is really nothing to do in our, in our, in our hybrid share portal. But as we can see, the functionality is already there. It's already, I think, in regards to the architecture, it's very mature, no errors, no, I don't know, funny, funny quirks. It seems to be working just fine. So this is how you create a hybrid share on your Synology NAS. So think about the opportunities in this feature. They're amazing especially for, uh, for business, uh, business use, uh, for archives, for collaboration between uh, remote offices, for, I don't know, there could be a million things you can do with such a, uh, with such a capability. I tend to, uh, uh, to compare this feature to uh, Microsoft's Azure files, where you create files locally, at least it seems locally, but it's really sync in real time with the cloud. So, guys, this is how you create the hybrid chair. At this point, it's still a beta. It, I think that other than creating the share and syncing to the cloud, there are no satellite functionalities. They might be coming up. But, guys, if you're interested in this feature, let me know in the comment section below what will you be doing or what you could be doing with such a feature. I'm, in, I'm genuinely interested in knowing what you guys think we guys as Synology owners can benefit uh, from this feature. Generally, I'm very interested. Please take a minute, write a comment in the comment section below. Let me know what, am I, what else am I missing. And if you haven't done so already, as always, please subscribe and hit the bell icon so you'll be notified when new videos come out. A lot of new Synology DSM-7 uh, videos are coming up. So stay tuned. Thank you for being with me today and I'll see you guys all in the next video. Bye guys.